Welcome, and thank you for choosing us. Our ambition is for the motorhome to provide you with a new, exciting and amazing experience for the entire family. That is, a vacation you will forever cherish. For this to happen, we need to ensure your comfort and safety when renting a motorhome from us. We want to give you the best service in the industry, with the best motorhomes as its foundation. Put simply, a premium experience of the highest quality. We want it to be easy and comfortable to explore the world in our motorhomes. Therefore, in the next couple of minutes you will be shown an informational video to prepare you for your journey. We kindly ask everyone in the family to be attentive in order to ensure that the trip is as safe, smooth and enjoyable as possible. After the video has ended, one of our colleagues will lead you out to your motorhome and physically go through it with you, just to make sure that you are fully comfortable before your vacation starts. Wake up where you want and experience freedom without compromise. With us, kind regards from the families Oskarsson and Valen. Operating the Rent Easy Motorhome is just as simple as driving a car. Adjust your seating position so that it suits you before driving off. The seats can be moved backwards and forwards, and the seat heights and backrests are also adjustable. You can adjust the steering wheel and seats as you do in your own car. The armrests are steplessly adjustable and controlled by the thumb wheel. You switch on your motorhome just like a car. The switches and air conditioning work in the usual way. To adjust the electric outside mirrors, press and push the corresponding switches to the right or left. As a rule, please set both outside mirrors and avoid blind spots. This is particularly important when changing direction and reversing. When reversing, you should as a rule get someone to guide you. Never back into a parking space on your own, even if your model has a reversing camera. The windows in your Renteasy vehicle are easy to open. Press the securing knob on each lock and turn the lever through 90 degrees. The window locks into position automatically when you push it outwards. To use the insect screens or shades, simply pull them down or up and press gently to engage. To close the window, press on it gently from inside, pull it slowly in and relock. A crank handle is used to open and close the roof hood. This is also where the insect screens and shades are stored, and both of these are easy to use. All roof hoods must be closed while travelling and when it rains. Smaller roof hoods are unlocked and easily raised by means of a lever. Alternatively, there are skylights with a bracket that is released and then raised. General guidance for all windows, insect screens and shades. Do not pull or push them with too much force as this will only cause the mechanism to seize. To open the roof hood in the bathroom, unlock it by the handles and push it upwards. It's important that you only open the windows while the vehicle is stationary. Never leave windows and roof hoods open while traveling. You must close the roof hood when it rains. 
All blinds and insect screens must be open while traveling. Please only use a soft cloth to clean the windows. Before using the oven, make sure that the gas canister is open. There is a shut-off valve for each gas-operated device in your motorhome. How to use the oven? The valve must be set to the 12 o'clock position and the gas cooker cover must be open. Set the control to large or small flame and press the piezo ignition button. If your vehicle does not have this type of ignition device, please use a lighter. Turn the control to off to switch off. The fridge runs on gas, battery or mains power. If the selector switch is set to A for automatic, the device chooses the energy source itself. But you can also select the energy source manually. We recommend that you run the fridge on the 12 volt onboard main supply while traveling. To do this, the main switch of the onboard power supply must be set to on. If you are at a campsite with a 230 volt supply, use that. If you do not have access to electricity, select gas mode. If you are using gas, please do not forget to switch on the appropriate gas tap. All kitchen doors must be locked for safety reasons. Please always check that the locks are properly engaged, including the fridge lock. The other kitchen doors and drawers must also be locked while traveling. Using the bathroom and toilet in rent-easy motorhomes is very simple. If there are any wooden floor elements in the shower, please remove them before showering. Close the enclosure in the usual way. The valve must be open before using the toilet. Press the blue knob to flush, then close the valve. If you have a model of alternative construction, it must be turned to the correct position first. Here again you open the valve, press the knob to flush and close the valve again. The toilet must be emptied before the container is completely full. Check the level gauge. The wastewater tank and toilet must be emptied regularly to prevent the buildup of odors. To empty the toilet waste container, first open the corresponding valve, pressing both push locks at the same time. Lift the mounting bracket to remove the waste container. To empty it, swing the emptying nozzle forwards, unscrew the lid and you must press the ventilation button. Keep the button pressed while emptying the waste container. The waste container may only be emptied at designated disposal points. Please never just tip the contents into the nearest stream. Please do not forget to put a new toilet tab into the container after emptying it. Now screw the lid back on, replace the waste container and close the valve. You must also empty your wastewater tank at disposal points which can be found at campsites and many service stations. There is a switch in the rear garage of your vehicle that is used to drain it. At the start of the rental period, each Rent Easy motorhome has two gas canisters on board. If you need to replace one during the rental period, please place the full gas canister in the gas canister box and secure it as instructed by means of the two retaining belts. You now need to connect the canister to the gas hose. Bear in mind that the connection has a left-hand thread. Make sure that the connections are secure. 
please do not use any tools, you simply have to hand tighten the union nut. The gas canister box must always be locked for safety reasons. Always keep away from naked flames. Please always unroll the cable drum completely before supplying 230 volt electricity to your motorhome. Use the adapter cable to connect the cable drum to the vehicle's power connection. Make sure that the blue plug is firmly and securely attached. We recommend placing the drum underneath the vehicle to protect it from rain. The 230 volt check light on the control panel lights up and the power supply switch must now be switched on. Note, when disconnecting, please pull gently on the plug, not on the cable. The filling nozzle for the water tank is clearly marked. Use the key to open the lid, then you can fill the tank with drinking water. In all vehicles, the diesel filling nozzle is behind the driver's door. Please only fill up with diesel. All Renteezy motorhomes are fitted with a bike carrier for up to four bikes. It's easy to use and no tools are required. Please note that the carriers are not suitable for e-bikes. Use the appropriate devices and belts to secure your bikes. Sun awnings are supplied as standard with Renteezy vehicles. Use the crank handle supplied to extend and retract the awning. Insert the crank handle, turn it through 90 degrees, pull downwards briefly and then continue to turn clockwise. If possible, you should always first extend the awning halfway. Then fold out the supports. These are located in the front of the awning and are height adjustable. The small levers are used for locking and unlocking. The awning can be fully extended as soon as the supports are secured. You should not use the awning if the weather is very windy or if it's raining. Please also retract the awning before going to bed at night or if you're leaving the vehicle for a long time. A motorhome is heavier and higher than a car. For this reason, you should take bends more slowly than you do in your car. Braking also takes longer than in a car. So look ahead as you drive. Because of its size, a motorhome is more sensitive to sidewinds and you should bear this in mind when overtaking and on viaducts. The vehicle is much higher than a car. It is essential that you bear the clearance of bridges and tunnels in mind. Branches, bushes and trees that protrude into the road can also be an obstacle. Cliff spurs can also be a hazard. Please comply with signs. The vehicles are also wider than a car. Bear this in mind before driving into narrow streets. The awning protrudes beyond the edge of the vehicle. Please drive carefully. 
When driving onto ferries, please remember that your vehicle may rise at the back. Take care. When approaching a location, bear in mind that the rear swings out on bends. If you take all these tips to heart, you'll have a wonderful holiday and a good journey. Always run through the following checklist before driving off. Has the gas canister been turned off and secured? Have the steps been fully retracted? Is the power supply connection disconnected? Has the awning been retracted? Are all the hatches closed? Inside the vehicle check. Is everything securely stowed in cupboards? Are the cupboards closed? Is the fridge locked? Are all the windows and roof hoods closed? Are all passengers seated with their seatbelts fastened? And has everyone less than 1.2 meters tall got a booster cushion? Once you have checked everything, you can drive off. Note, extra information regarding the rental. Your insurance may not apply if the following situations were to happen. Filling up diesel or petrol in the water tank, refueling with petrol in the diesel tank, driving off with the sunshade still extended, or backing up without a person behind the vehicle who can guide you. If any of these situations were to happen, or if any other accidents were to occur, please contact us so that we can solve the problem together. We are here to ensure that your vacation is as amazing as possible. Please take care of each other and the vehicle. We now wish you a fantastic vacation.